In the workshop, a Cotswold Heritage Atlas steam plant, part 10, making the gas jet holder and piping, followed by a steam test to see if it works. And in order to do this, I have to partially dismantle the boiler. I'm disconnecting the steam exhaust pipe, and here I'm moving it out of the way because I have to remove the boiler from the baseboard. The base of the boiler is a push fit into this gunmetal ring, which makes it a quick job to remove it from the baseboard. What I'm about to do is fit the gas burner. This is a dual fuel boiler, and this is from my personal collection. Originally the boiler was coal fired, but for this application the owner needs it to be gas fired. I'm showing how I fitted a Bix burner, and now it's time to make a gas jet holder. Over to my small Boxford lathe with a piece of brass in the chuck. I've cleaned up the outside of it with a piece of wet or dry sandpaper, and I'm taking a facing cut across the front, followed by centre drilling it, followed by using a twist drill to drill a hole which is tapping size for 1BA. Why 1BA? It's a very unusual size. And that's because the commercial gas jets that I buy are all threaded 1BA. I threaded it by hand using a 1BA tap, but used the power to withdraw the tap. This is the height of laziness. Instead of changing the tool for a parting tool, I made a few short passes with the tool that was in the tool post, and eventually it parted off. And before anyone writes in condemning my engineering practices, I don't normally do it like this. Here's the holder with the gas jet at the side of it, and here's the holder with the gas jet partially screwed into it. I need to drill a hole in the side of this, and it needs to be 5 30 seconds of an inch in diameter, so that I can silver solder a piece of 5 30 seconds of an inch diameter pipe into it. I'm using 5 30 seconds pipe because the rest of the plant is piped with this. And here I'm bending the pipe using the excellent Microcosm Pipe Bender. This next part of the operation is very important. Once you've silver soldered the gas jet holder to the pipe, I recommend blowing through the pipe and gas jet holder with some compressed air. This gets rid of any particles of metal and loose scale from the silver soldering process that may remain in the pipe, because these gas jets are very easily blocked. This is a number 5 gas jet. I would normally use a number 8 gas jet, which is a bit bigger. But because this Kingdom boiler is a fire tube type boiler, it should be okay with the number 5. It'll be very sedate and gentle. Time to give it a steam test. With a commercial gas tank connected at one end of the pipe, I lit the burner. And I adjusted the position of the gas jet in the Venturi tube, so that I got a lot of little blue triangles on top of the burner. The burner's starting to glow red now, but there's still some blue visible. If the position of the gas jet is set incorrectly, these type of burners tend to burn out. It took about 10 minutes to raise steam, so I thought it was a good time to test the siren. And as you can hear, it seems to work fine. I'm not a great lover of sirens, unless they're on traction engines where you normally find them. I set the safety valve to 60 pounds per square inch blow off pressure, and here, at 60 pounds per square inch on the gauge, it's blowing off. It stops blowing off as I pump some cold water into the boiler. I know that this engine works on compressed air, does it work on steam? I'm turning the flywheel to clear the condensate, and as soon as that clears, off we go. This steam engine has a very slight clunk as it rotates, but it's not too bad. At least it doesn't sound like a pneumatic drill. As I mentioned earlier, this boiler only has a number 5 jet in the gas burner, but it's steaming very well. In this shot, you can see the entire steam plant, and you can also see the commercial gas canister, and this looks terrible, so I'm going to remove it. And here is a good tip. Mask off the thread with some masking tape and spray them with satin black paint. Then they look really good on a steam plant. A few years ago, I built some model steam launchers, and I used to do exactly the same as this. The canisters were slightly smaller, but I painted them black, put them in the boat, and they looked okay. Everything was fine, then I encountered a problem. The boiler's blowing off, and the siren refuses to pick up. I'm going to fit the replacement siren that Microcosm sent and see if that's any better. But that's it for this episode. I'm just going to leave the plant running until the end of the video. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful.
That's it for the first steam test. I will end this video with a health and safety warning. Always disconnect the gas tank adapter after use. Never leave it connected to the canister.